Okay, well, it is the top of the hour. It's just past 4 p.m. here on the east coast of the United States. It's 8 p.m. UTC, and it's 10 p.m. over there in Croatia, where Awaken to Life has returned home for the off-season. My name is Ethan Smith, and I'm here with my co-host, Awaken to Life, and this is Talk of the Line, presented live from the Steam Engine Discord server. We are coming to you here this afternoon to sit and chat with some of our Steam Engine members about what they've been up to on across the Steam It platform this week. This show is also broadcast live on the Steam Star radio network, which you can listen to anytime at steamstar.net. Awaken to life. What have you got for us today? Can I, I'll, I'll, I'll pause and let you see if you want to say anything since I forgot and didn't let Petra do it last week. So I'm going to try to get in the habit of doing that this week. <laughs> Well, since I'm the nicest guy in here, I really don't have nothing but nice things to say this week, even to Petra. So thank you all for joining us, and I hope we're going to have a great show, which I'm sure we will have as Petra is here, and we always have some fun. So thank you, guys. Well, it looks like we've got a good crowd here so far. So Awaken to Life, why don't you drop our little message, and we'll get started with anybody that wants to talk about it while I sit here and ramble on about what the group's been up to this week. So there we go. There we go. That's it. It's in the chat. If you'd like to present, use that emoji, and we'll add you to the queue. Awaken to Life's going to take care of that. And in the meantime, I'll update you on what's been going on at the Steam Engine. So there's not a whole lot of new activity. We've admitted a few new members this week, and it's great to see some of them active and great posts coming up in the Baggage Car channel. And we've also had some really good news in that Awaken to Life finished up his basketball season. He's back in Croatia in his home country. So it looks like we'll have a nice next few months of hearing from him in posts and things. I have been very busy myself, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to spend in the group. However, I always make time for this sex session if I can because it is has been a great part of every week for me. So as far as stats for the group, we're still being able to, we've been able to reward all the posts at normal. We haven't had really any issues with scaling or anything like that. So all of you who have shared posts in our curation channel have received votes from the group account, and it's great to see all kinds of really good engagement happening between the members. And so uh, I personally just want to thank our leadership team once again, Enchanted Spirit, who's not here, but again, he's here in spirit course who does such a hard working job every week of making things happen for us and cat weasel for being the gatekeeper awaken to life our moderation team petra and of course the panama mama who sometimes joins us here so thanks to all of them with all of that said we let's get started let's hear what's been going on in your world this week so that i can stop talking and let some of you talk so awaken to life why don't you take it away and let's see who's up first well, our next, our first presenter of the night is going to be our friend, Crazy, without the X or with the X. I don't know. We're going to see what he's going to do for us tonight. Let's find out. I apologize if you hear the background noise, my dog's dreaming. So I apologize in advance. I think he wants to participate too, so. I think he does. Well, this week I've been learning, Awaken the Life's been teaching me how to sit, uh, drink alcohol through a straw. So I'm not very well at the moment, guys. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> Ethan, I'm waiting for you to back me up right now right. because I haven't started this. So yeah. just so you know, I'm the nice guy tonight. All right. That was a cheap shot right there. <laughs> So let's 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 avoid any more of those. <laughs> all right, okay. I've, I was planned that all day. Anyway, right. Let me just let me get let me get straight on. Um, so um, this post that I wrote the day it's um, tomorrow we launch our new our newsletter on my other server Beyond the Veil, and this is one of the articles that's part of it uh, called the the Art of Psychometry. <clears throat> Now, the interesting thing about psychometry is it's about um, belief that any artifact or any object that you can essentially pick up holds an energy or a vibration that 
people may be able to tap into to learn about its history. And Ethan, I thought you might actually be interested in reading it as well, because not only is it from a sign uh, from a spiritual, but it's also um, looked into from a scientific point of view. And part of the article actually talks about um, when psychometry was first sort of came around, which was by um, uh, an American professor. And what he did was he put different drugs into vials and he got his students to hold the vials and try and work out what the drug was and published his findings in a paper. So um, I just kind of wanted to to publish about it. And uh, if anybody wants to try, there's some instructions. Um, so please feel free if you want to try it, guys. It's um, something I would definitely be interested in doing. And I would be even more interested in if anybody does do it, if they could either comment on the post or create their own post with them, with what they found. I think it's a really fun thing to do and uh, I'm definitely going to do it. That's that's very interesting subject right there. I do believe uh, energies can be transferred in different artifacts, crystals, and stuff like that, but I, ne I never knew there was actually uh, science behind it. <laughs> I didn't know what was the name, so it's interesting to read this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, psycho comes from uh, the Greek, which psych meaning soul, and um, the other part of it was actually, I can't remember the word, but it was like measure. Um, and when it's when it's brought into to English, um, it, it's it's later on and became uh, psychometry. So definitely something um, that I found quite interesting that I was reading about the other day, and I just wanted to share that with everybody. Yeah, thanks so much. I I will definitely take a look at it. I appreciate the recommendation. I always appreciate when people personally recommend posts to me to read. So thanks a lot. I'll be sure if I ever get around to it. It's a busy week, but we'll make the time to do it. And and great news about your newsletter getting started. I am really glad that this is one of the initiatives. It's just really great to see our members like branch out and start their own initiatives like this, especially when it involves a, some sort of new group account or group effort. So congrats on getting that launched. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, um, I don't know how long it'll take for me to create the newsletter, but it'll be out sometime tomorrow. Great news. Well, everybody can check the Beyond the Veil chat, or excuse me, Steam It account tomorrow to check out what that holds in store. All right. Does anybody else have anything they'd like to ask Crazy while he has the mic here? Well, if not, Awaken to Life, who's next? Nobody got any more questions. All right. Huh. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions for our next uh, presenter, Dream Steam, as she usually has the most enthusiastic posts ever. So you got to ask some questions about those. Hello. First of all, congratulations on the end of your season, Awaken. We're happy that it's finished for you and you, you did your best and your team did great. And um, we're glad that we get to see more of you. Hey, Wacky. Well, thank you for that. Um, Thank you for that. Yeah. We lost three to two. It was a close series, but what can you do? You can do your best, and that's it. And just by reading your posts, you guys did a lot of growth together as a team, so that was pretty cool. Um, and uh, here is my post. I will say before I even post this that I did get to make Awakens veggie burgers and I can confirm that they are a hundred times more flavorful than a regular meat burger. They're delicious. And so since I was on a cooking streak, I went here and wrote this about food. Yum, yum, yum. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for the compliment. I think, uh, I think maybe Petra should learn something about that from you because she's been a really mean person and I've been only nice no, to she's her not. all the time. She's wonderful. <laughs> Petra is wonderful. Oh, by the way, I'm now part of the Alliance and so is Calamam. Woohoo. So now we're a part of the family. Um, okay. So this, um, 
for anybody who knows, I can't eat gluten. Thanks, crazy. Um, I have been off gluten now for uh, about three years, and um, it really messes with me. <laughs> it gives me headaches and gives me rashes, um, but I still love gluten. I love the thought of it. I love the smell of it. Um, I just love the way things are really chewy and delicious. So it's really hard when um, I am around it and I can't eat certain things. But last night, um, I went out for a Vietnamese dinner and they had these absolutely delicious cookies um, and they're naturally gluten-free. So when you're dealing with gluten-free things and we like to call ourselves gluten freaks, um, then you can find alternatives, but when you're finding an alternative to what's already out there, it's not what you have in your mind. It's not what you're really craving. And it's kind of just, sometimes you can find something awesome, but oftentimes it's just not exactly what you're looking for. But when you find things that are already naturally gluten-free, then it's always just amazing because it's exactly what it's supposed to taste like. So for people who don't know, these are called macarons. They're French cookies. They are not macaroons. Macaroons are the cookies with the, the coconut on it. Macarons are the French cookies that are really pretty and they're pastel and they're all different. They almost look like fake food. So um, those are naturally gluten-free because they're made with almond flour. And when we went to this restaurant last night, they had a step up. They had macarons that were ice cream sandwiches. So if you want to see all about that, feel free to go to this and drool over my yummy dessert. The end. Well, now I'm going to have to try your your recipe for this. I'm sure it's going to be amazing as well. Ice cream It's cookies. so, so good. Yes. It's ice cream. They're like, so, I mean, I love ice cream sandwiches. And you've seen, like, you know, the chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwiches. This is, like, unbelievable. They're like the crunchy, crispy, you know, macaron, like, cookies with, like, a thick layer of ice cream in the middle. Oh, it's just oh, the wow. perfect I just, end. I just pulled up the picture. Okay, okay stop it. It's, 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 it's too early in this post <laughs> to talk about this. People are going to get hungry and going to start eating while talking. This is not cool at all. So. Too late. I'm I'm gonna cut this <laughs> cut this presentation right away because this is, this okay. is too, too too early too early. Those definitely definitely look, activists. Those look it's great. Definitely. So <laughs> they're you. delicious. Yeah, that that they look like it. Well, that's excellent. So, and uh, I don't know if there's any hope of any of us getting those though. So, you have just I don't know what you've done here, Dream Steam. It seems like you've thrown everyone into a frenzy here. So I will tell you that the only places that I've ever seen these are in, so we went to a Vietnamese restaurant and they had them there. And then we went to a Korean barbecue and they had them there, but I've never seen them in like the stores. So you'd have to go to maybe like, you know, a place that has some like Korean food or I don't know, look around because you'll like them. Okay. Well, thank you. We'll definitely do that. Anybody else have anything they'd like to say to Dream Steam here before we move on? Just yeah, one more question. Uh, how did your husband like it? Can he substitute the meat with it? For your... For your Are you talking about your veggie burgers, Awaken? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not not just my husband. The whole family loved them. Like my daughter said... These are way more flavorful than regular meat burgers. And I was like, they really are. They were they were excellent. I was really shocked that something that could just be made out of vegetables could be that good. So very good job. Well, thank you for that. And thank you for presenting uh, your posts and making everybody hungry early in the show. So I'll actually no thank you, right? All right. Okay. Who's next? Okay. The next presenter is our amazing Hope and Hugs. She probably has another story, for, amazing story for us and uh, lessons to be learned from her posts, I'm guessing. No, not today. I've got something a little bit different today. <laughs> okay, let's see the difference. Okay, it's a post called Let's Spread the Seeds of Love with Steam. Um, it's, um, today I'm starting an initiative which is 
started by Pensive. He's doing a one dollar. He's giving one dollar a day to a good cause. So with that idea coupled with You Are Hope, I came up with the idea of giving a dollar a day for the month of May to um, people in Venezuela. So I've picked out for the next seven days um, seven people from Venezuela who I'm going to vote once a day for and also give them one SBD a day because one SBD for them can buy about three or four days worth of food. So I just wanted to share that and kind of say that even a little tiny bit can help if anybody can spare anything for these guys in Venezuela. It's an amazing initiative. Yes, I know that here uh, on the Steam Star Network, there's a lot of love for the people in Venezuela, especially since Melos 10 is one of the founders and from Venezuela, and they've done some really incredible work through the You Are Hope. So it's great to see you take on some of them and kind of adopt them this week and through your voting power and just transferring them the the liquid SPD. So that's great, Hope Hugs. Thanks so much for sharing that. I'm sorry, I, I wasn't uh, following uh, the news. Isn't there like a riot in Venezuela right now? And it's a really bad economic it's, it's been, situation. It's been pretty rough for a while. They've. It's just the the government. It's uh, it's kind of a case study in what can go wrong in a socialist state where the government controls the economy. And so when that has happened, it's it's basically created a huge black market because there's so high of a demand for food and just regular staples and living things. So um, there's a lot of people that are homeless living on the streets. And um, those are some of the people that you are hope has been able to impact with steam donations and votes and things like that. So I just wanted to comment on uh, hope hugs. I, I read that, I don't know if it was today or yesterday, but, uh, you know, the whole Team Good tag that's been going around on Steam, this is, this is Team Good, you know, this is, this is wonderful. I mean, I just like it. And, that, you know, and her post is so good, it just includes all the things that people of Steam are doing, and that's who's doing it, you know, is, is the people of Steam just... Uh, you know, doing for others, and it's, it's just so fantastic. Most definitely. Thanks, Sarge. It really is. I, I, I love to hear about many initiatives like this on Steam it because they are truly helping people, you know, in need, you know, and uh, actually helping people grow on Steam it as well, so it's it's amazing. I actually agree with you, Petra. That that was a really appropriate background track to to his uh, his statement there. It was just like it... It helped helped the mood a lot, so <laughs> that was great. There's a reason that I'm the tech in training over at Steam Star. Yeah, of course. Well, we'll get you a uh, some way that you can put on those tracks maybe for us, and that's good. Glad Activist blog uh, Tavazi actually has a interesting sentence in the in the chat. Venezuela is being squeezed by oil companies. Their government isn't failing; it's being crushed by USA deep deep state actors so i don't know if you guys got any thoughts on that well if, if we were consp uh, I, uh, I i don't know if we're that kind of show so we won't <laughs> we'll try to avoid that topic today but i'm sure that activist blog has some other resources that if you're interested you can look into the uh those the the global economics yes so yeah with that in yeah. mind yeah. i think we'll go ahead and move on so thank you again hope hugs for sharing that and awaken to life who's up next Thank you, Hope. Okay, our next participant and presenter is uh, Kellerman. Oh, no. Still nothing. Oh, no, we can't hear him again. Okay, we'll move to who's next and see if he can get that resolved. Must have a broken... Kellerman, uh, when, you, when you fix... Try, try to restart your computer again. When you fix it, just let us know. We're going to... Right. We'll be happy to order right after the last presenter. We'll also be happy to read something if you can just prepare a couple sentences about it. Yeah, we'll we'll be happy to present it for you. So, all right, who's next? Okay, our next presenter is uh, Redhead 
Hey, I, I don't know how to pronounce your username right. I don't know if I did that right. So go ahead, man. I'm not sure that they're in voice. I don't think All right, in hang on. I'll type something in chat. In the meantime, we'll pause for station identification. Once again, this is Talk of the Line, a weekly voice curation segment sponsored by the Steam Engine Discord group. And we are broadcasting live on the Steam Star radio network, which can be accessed at steamstar.net. I'm Ethan Smith, and I'm here with my co-host, Awaken to Life. And we're very happily chugging along here through some of our members' works this week. So, so you're nothing but static Ooh, there, Kelly, man. <laughs> Anyhow, um, Awaken to Life, let's go ahead and move on to who's next, and we'll see where things well, go. Well, I believe, is Buffy here? I don't, know, I don't think he's oh, either. that's right. He said here he was going to be about Yeah, 30 he's minutes. going to be out for 10, 15 minutes, but he's still not back either. So we're just going to move out to my uh, favorite person in the whole white world, Petra. Wow. That was so nice. <laughs> I'm just bringing the nice guy tonight. I, I don't I know. I don't know. Cra really crazy, crazy, crazy. Very loving. Yeah. I think that's really great of you. I do. I really admire you for that. I think it's just personally because he's, he's back just, in Croatia. It's totally because he's back in Croatia. <laughs> He's going to meet her, and she's going to beat him up if he's not nice to her. <laughs> yeah, she was sending me threatening messages after some of the shows. So I, I was in Italy, so I was a little safe. And then I got home. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm only like three, four hours away from her. So I got to be a little careful with my words. All right, Petra. Do you have anything to say? Oh, here we go. Hi, guys. Um, so I was wondering whether to present this post or the one that I wrote yesterday, but somehow I, just, I decided for this one. It's on. Um, it's about how to boil water while it's cold. So if you do not know this already, now you know water can be cold and be boiling at the same time because the boiling of water doesn't actually have anything to do with temperature it has everything to do with pressure of course temperature is needed or well, heat is needed to cook food but water boils because of the pressure not because of the temperature and water can be boiling when it's cold too so be sure to read the post it is some fun science stuff for you and i hope you like it feel free to ask any questions Yes, science. I actually, that's, uh, okay, uh, that's that's your subject, I think, Ethan. Go, no, go I, first. I'm more interested to hear what you have to say. Why, why is that? Please explain. So this was actually one of the things that, and I'll let Petra explain it to you because it's her post, but this is, I, I just wanted to mention that this is actually one of the very first demos that one of my professors performed in my intro level chemistry class in undergraduate studies. So it, it was. it's pretty neat to see it happen. It's one thing to read about it in a post, but to actually witness it in the room with you is pretty cool. So, but um, Yeah, I, I remember the looks on people's faces when I did this experiment in front of people and students and teachers and a lot of people in general. And uh, the experiment went that I took a glass of water and gave it to people around the room to dunk their fingers in it just to make sure that the water was cold and then i put a glass bowl over the water and connected that thing with the vacuum machine that sucked the air out of the space surrounding that glass and the water in it and the water started boiling in one minute then I lifted up that glass container and again asked the people to put their fingers in the water and they were all they were all scared and none of them wanted to do it because people are well used to 
water that is boiling, it should be hot. So they were scared to put their fingers in. But then when I put my finger in, they were kind of relieved and tried it to and were very, very surprised to learn that it was actually cold and boiling at the same time because they saw it with their own eyes and just couldn't believe it. But hold on, uh, if it's boiling, how can you, can you cook something on it? Like, you know, it's just because of the pressure, the bubbles are coming up or something. Well, it's because of the pressure, because uh, when, when you have any liquid, water in this example, um, the boiling effect, those bubbles that you see coming out of the water when it's boiling, water wants to do that all the time, but it can't because the pressure of the surroundings are bubbles back. So that's why we don't see those bubbles all the time. And by heating up the water, we are raising the pressure of the vapor of those bubbles. And when the vapors, when the pressures align, the pressure of the vapor and the pressure of the surroundings, then the bubbles can actually come to life and we can see them. That's and awesome. That's, that's the thing that we do all the time while we are cooking. We are heating water and rising its pressure. But the other way you can make a water or any liquid boil is not to mess with the liquid itself, leave that alone, but instead play with the surroundings and lower the surrounding pressure. So to answer your question, Awaken to Life, no, something would not cook in it because generally yeah. things need to be at high <laughs> yeah, temperatures. Yeah, but it's, it's not boiling really then. Well, I mean, so you, it's, it all, bubbles it coming depends up. On, you have to define the word boiling because boiling here is the in her post is defined as the process by which liquid water turns into vapor water or gaseous water. It's not necessarily the definition yeah. of boiling that we all really just know to, when we put a pot of water yeah, on the stove. To, what's sorry, the, what's sorry, the name of the... But go, go, Petra, go. Sorry, sorry, just to uh, interrupt you a minute there. The scientific definition of a boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid equals the external pressure of the surroundings of the liquid. So that's the boiling point. When we use the term boiling in our everyday lives, we are using it, well, not accurately enough. <laughs> what happens if, um, in regards to where, uh, because you boil water to make water, you can boil water to make water sterile. So does the effect of the alternate effect to make water boil, does that do the same thing? Does that make it sterile or is it just purely from from the boiling point of view, does it need the heat to make it sterile? It needs the heat because bacteria, certain amount of bacteria dies at certain temperature. So I it's see. not the boiling thing, it's the temperature thing. I see. Okay, you know what wonderful. this experiment reminds me of? You know the from the Big Bang Theory, the what's the favorite TV show of uh, Sheldon? Can anybody remember? Star Trek? No, no. On the show, uh, Sheldon has a favorite TV show when he was a kid he was watching. It was something like uh, Newton, Professor Newton. Yeah, that, that's what it is. Yeah. And uh, this, would, this would be a perfect, perfect experiment for his show. You know, water is one of those things that's really, really neat, and we still don't really understand it, even though it's very basic to everything that we do. But... Um, Sometimes just go look up like it's called they're called phase diagrams. It's a plot of pressure versus temperature and you can draw a line on it and along those lines and across those lines water will exist at different states of matter. So liquid vapor and ice or frozen. So but one of the really neat things is there's actually a, a point at which if you had the pressure and temperature just right with water, it could exist as all three phases at one time and neither of them would desire to go to another phase. For example, if you take an ice cube and throw it out on the sidewalk on a hot day, it wants to melt. But if you, were, if you took an ice cube, put it in water at this certain pressure and temperature, it would remain that way forever. It wouldn't ever melt. Like the heat transfer would not happen because it, of the pressure and temperature anyway it, it, it's something that is very fascinating to me and i'm sure and thank you petra for 
explaining it very well in this post, so uh, everybody can go check it out. So I think we'll uh, we'll move on here, but I believe Awaken to Life that um, Calamam has sent his post to Dream Steam, so I think that might be where we need to go next. All right, yeah, uh, he should be the next one who was having technical problems. So Calamam, uh, I mean Dream Steam, can you? Speak again with your amazing voice so we can hear you and present his post. Oh, sure, I will. Okay, so um, Cal, if you will put up the post. I'm in DM, so I don't see if you did it or not. He did it. <laughs> um, so he said, okay, great. Uh, this is a post that he published for the Buddy Up um, community's Drop in the Ocean show for this week. And so every week they have a new topic. Um, and so everybody who's a part of it will write their opinion on that particular topic. And this week's topic was encouragement. So this was his first shot at some poetry on the platform. So any feedback that he has or that you have for him is more than welcomed, he says. Well, thank you so much, Calamam, for sharing that with us. I know that the drop of the ocean thing seems to be taking off. I have not personally had time to participate in it, but I hope that when I do have some time later, I will be able to do that. But Because it, it looks like you have great topics every week that you get to address. And so I'll definitely take a look at it. Poetry's not my <laughs> forte, but I know that it's always fun to read things that are outside of your current you know, comfort zone. So... Thanks so much, and we really hate you can't be here. We miss your voice being here to talk about it. So, Shall I just go full broad Geordie, and then everybody doesn't necessarily have to miss Callum Man, and I'll just try and sound like him? <laughs> you have to have the laugh. If you're going to do Callum Man, you have oh, to I do can, the laugh. He I has can't a great laugh. laugh. <laughs> I can't do his laugh. I can probably, uh, I can probably, oh, no, you say you need a little bit of Scottish too. I can't do that either. Uh, well, uh, if you guys don't know, uh, Kelman is the creator of Buddy Up channel, another amazing channel that has a bright future ahead, and I'm sure they're going to do great things in the future as well. So check it out if you have the time. Yeah, we always like to plug Buddy Up. It's one of those great communities that really it. the original goal was to pair people up so they could get to know each other and interact more on Steemit and in a Discord server. But now they have been doing so many, so many more things, including... Drop in the Ocean, a, a, a weekly segment where they ask their members to make a post about a certain topic, and then they hop on voice chat just like we're doing now and discuss it together. So if you're interested in that, um, someone can drop the link to the Buddy Up server in here. That would be great. Um, head on over there and see what you got. And they've really got some really cool stuff in the, um, in the works, including their own token that they've launched on BitShares. That they hope to re that you can get rewarded in Buddy Up tokens for participating in their in their server and in those challenges. So check it out sometime. It's another really great community to be involved in. I hope I did it justice there, Cal, ma'am. There's the link. He, so he gave me check permission out, guys. to talk for him, but uh, it was it's you did an excellent job, and uh, we. We are having so much fun um, doing this. It started off just kind of not knowing what we were going to do. And then the more that we come together, that, I think that was, wasn't that our third one, Calum? Um, it's just so cool because these are really important topics and you're getting to know your members in Buddy Up on a totally different level because you really get to see this. Everybody's on the same page. Everybody's talking about what's important to them on really important topics. So it's, it's really cool. If you haven't done it, you should definitely come and try it. Great news. So um, just to clarify, uh, Mandala Flower has joined. She, you just posted the train emoji. Since you have not been approved as a, uh, a member of the Steam Engine, unfortunately, we can't allow you to present your post here today. But we're so glad that you have chosen to join us and feel free to continue to participate in the chat. So we'll pause once more. This is Talk of the Line, a weekly voice chat curation segment broadcast on the Steam Star Network live. And I'm Ethan Smith, and I'm here with Awaken to Life, my co-host, and we're just headed down the list, headed down the tracks. Can't forget the train joke and reference. Headed down the tracks to see what all our members have for us this week. So Awaken to Life, who is up next? Well, it should be, again, uh, 
Redhead Bay. I don't know if have he's here. I saw him in get, the chat, but have we figured out how to get them into the voice chat yet? Has that happened? I know that I saw some people trying to help. He was here, but I don't know. I don't know where he left. I, uh, crazy. Do you? I uh, I thought you you know you know you know the, who he is. So if you can talk to him. Yeah, um, I didn't get. I think it's a, it's a she. I think Redhead P E I is, is. Sorry, she. sorry. Oh, never mind, Wigan. Don't worry. All right. Well, we'll continue to try to get her into the chat, but until then, we can. Oh, Prince Edward Island. That explains it. Okay. Well, we can try to. We'll just go ahead and move on and keep trying to. Um, Okay, the next would be Buffy, but I don't think I don't think he's here he's either. Still not here. <laughs> so, so we're gonna move on until he comes, and the uh, next presenter is gonna be Tessara Gabriel. Excellent. Did I say that right? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. You so, dropped your link uh, and leveled up at the same time. You're just winning yeah. tonight, huh? It's and it's it's Beltane. It's beautiful. <laughs> Happy Beltane to everybody who celebrates that. Um, so this is a post I did this. Uh, oh, someone someone has a shocked reaction um, already. I uh, was thinking a lot about feminist anger last week uh, because I was judging the poetry contest for uh, the Team Girl Power account. And um, in reading about that, because we were trying to explain the kinds of things we were looking for in, our, in poetry we wanted to see, and reading that, I, I read this um, really great article over on, um, it's called Bitch Media. Um, I hope it's okay to say that. <laughs> Um, and I, she just sort of made a joke about a Jack in the Box Medusa. And I wrote about my own poetry that I had shared and about my ideas of feminism and the, the image of Medusa. But also I just really love that joke, um, the image of the Jack in the Box Medusa. So I drew it and I posted it. And so that's the, that's the post I'm sharing. I would not like to see that jack in a box somewhere if I'm sleeping and that thing drops in front of me. I don't know if I would react. <laughs> I yes. Yeah. Medusa's well Medusa's meant to be sort of scary in our in our modern in our modern cultural understanding of her. But there's I, there's a lot to the story that most people don't know. I think I would be very scared also if, if Petra would just drop out of there. I would be scared shitless. Oh, what happened to the nice? You were so nice earlier. Not because of that. Not because of the looks. Because she would probably beat the crap out of me. That That's why I said it. Oh, well, we, we yeah. promote peaceful <laughs> engagement here at the Steam Engine. So let's, let's hope that, that that would not be the case. But thank you so much, Tessero Gabrielle, for sharing that with us. I really like the fact that you included the, like, in progress drawings in this it's always neat to see it kind of come together so that's a really neat aspect of this post yeah um slothicorn uh the the slothicorn community prefers that po people in um include the in progress images just because um it's easier to then sort of show that it's your work that you didn't just pull someone's Art. It's just a way of making yeah. sure we're not plagiarizing. I had not really thought about that, but yeah, especially with the Slothicorn thing and trying to release everything into Creative Commons licensing, that's that's a really good thing to include because it's kind of undeniable proof that <laughs> you... Well, it's not completely indisputable, but it's much more likely that, to say... It's, it's easier to say that it's yours, so that's great. And plus, it's fun to kind of see it come together. Just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for sharing. And we'll move on to who's next. So who's that going to be? Well, it's going to be Andy Santich. San, I don't know how to. I'm sorry. Can you can it's you say your last name? Andy's, yeah, and, Andy's, Andy's antics. Andy's antics. Forty eight. Andy's antics. Oh, my bad. <laughs> there we go. Good morning. How are Good you? Good morning. 
just call me Andy. It's so much easier. I feel like I should put a full stop between the Andes and the antics so it doesn't confuse people. <laughs> Well, it, it's Ethan, you know, he always tells me you got to be professional, you got to say the first and the last name, you know, he's just being a bossy and stuff, so I got to follow the rules. Wait, wait a minute, <laughs> when have I ever, when just have I ever told me. you that? <laughs> hey, trust me, guys, I, I can copy the messages, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, well, my post is just something real fun today because I've been receiving, <clears throat> excuse me, packages from uh, the other side of the world from from steam at friends so um i've just gone through this morning and tried to get this ready for you to have a wee look at so i've made some wonderful friends on steam it and they have decided to send me things from from america and i had so much fun opening them all up and taking photos and now they sit in pride of place in my house so it was just a really fun post so if you'd like to go and check that out that's cool That is anybody got any questions for Andy? I'm, really I'm just checking her post. So I think it's pretty cool that like we are we have this global community that we've built here on Discord and here on Steam it, but then when you actually get a package from someone or send someone something, it, it's it's pretty neat. So I'll have to check that out. Oh, it was it was it was awesome. And um, one of the gifts was it was a pen and I've written so much since I've been on Steam it in January that my pen's running out, so now I have a new pen from made with love um, that I can use instead. That's great. Well, I'm not surprised it came. The message came from Dreamstein. I'm not even surprised. She's that amazing. <laughs> she is that amazing. <laughs> How did I feel? Um, I felt appreciated and loved. So I kind of have something on on a related note when it comes to receiving things from other Steamians. I don't know how many of you were around a few months ago when I did my funding education with the blockchain initiative and we raised like 400 and some dollars for my wife's classroom to buy things. But uh, I'm going to go track down some of the people who made significant contributions because, and I'm going to offer to mail them one of the thank you cards that the students wrote. So I'm trying to hunt down the post that has scans of some of the thank you cards, but I think it would be a really neat thing to be able to send some of the people that that supported that initiative those cards because, first of all, they're adorable and they're really cute, but secondly, it, it makes it a little bit more real. So if any of you were actually supported that post and you would like to receive a thank you card, just PM me and we'll we'll sort it out. So. That's really... That's really um, heartwarming isn't it to get things from people when you're not expecting it for a start and um, you know and, and you just get these like, little bits of love coming and it's just it's really good feeling definitely thank you so much for sharing that I'll have to check that out here in a little bit so all right and I love that Andy keeps saying good morning because I assume you're over on the other side of the world there. So <laughs> I am. It's only quarter to nine in the morning. Yeah. yeah, that's that's great. It's great that this kind of transcends the time zones. I know we, we miss most of the people in Asia with, with this time slot, but I guess it's early morning there. So at least you're here. That's great. It is. And, I, and I'm ahead of you. It's Wednesday. Right. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like Boffy's back in the room. So um, everybody, commence operation, convince Boffy to stay on Steam It. All right, go. Go. <laughs> uh, uh, Boffy, yeah, we, we waited for you, and uh, you weren't here. You were doing something. Uh, I don't know I don't know what, but you can explain us later for why you were missing. But we're going to yeah, let for, you present your for, post uh, now. So go ahead, my friend. So to justify myself, I can say that uh, there was the Champions League match, the court, the semi-final, I think. And uh, in Italy, it's uh, really, really similar to religion. So you have to follow football. I know what you're talking about. I just came back from Italy. So my friend is a big uh, Juventus fan. And when they lost to Real Madrid, he almost broke the entire apartment. So that explains it all. So hi everyone. It's been uh, it's been some time that uh, I'm not uh, I'm not really on Steam it, and uh, many of you uh, here in uh, the Steam engine ask me why I'm not 
why I wasn't around and I'm not around anymore, given that uh, I have always been really active on the community side. And uh, I have to say that uh, I felt that I have uh, to to write this post that I made yesterday too in Italian, and uh, I was thinking about it for uh, from some times. So uh, I explained explained which are the three phases that I think uh, each uh, each of us uh, as a Steam uh, Steam uh, Steam it user um, go through the the process the process of uh, using this platform and uh, a lot of things happened uh, lately that uh, made me take uh, a break and uh, see the platform from a different uh, perspective given that uh, i choose to take a break uh, that could be like one week two week i don't know and uh, or either leave the place or leave the platform unfortunately at all because uh, there are some problems that I think that can at uh, this stage can't be fixed and uh, I would love to discuss uh, with you all uh, one uh, the one that uh, I think are the most important so if you have the body of the article uh, opened on your desktop or laptop uh, for me the biggest issues uh, the biggest issues with uh, steam it right now are the the bidding bot mechanism which makes steam it uh, more of a lending platform than anything else and uh, another big problem is the fact that uh, the the platform given that uh, it's based on uh, i can call pyramidal system which is the steam power which uh, obviously obviously uh, tend to lead to more power to the more more the people more uh, the more you are invested in the platform the more you get rewards this kind of uh, structure really uh, disables a new user to perform well and uh, to grow uh, this is what i feel even though i did have uh, an amazing time and an amazing role here so yeah i want to hear what you what are you what are your thoughts about this Um, I, I read your post, uh, Buffy, and thank you very much as well for the inclusion. I was I was deeply honoured uh, to see that as well. And um, personally, for me, I I completely understand where you are coming from. I mean, I can't I can't argue with you certainly with with what's going on at the moment. Um, and I would say that I I would discourage you absolutely against leaving the platform altogether because when I looked at your account and I, I know that you've been on the platform for a very short space of time and the impact that you've had on the platform shows because when I looked at your rep and I looked at things like your wallet and I looked at the work that you're doing, um, people I've seen on the platform at the same time are making anywhere near as good as progress in comparison. Now I know this is a completely side issue to that, um, but the reason I would say is to take a break is because I personally feel that yes, while these issues are here, that they're not going to be there forever. And right now, um, a post that I put on quite recently is, this is still seen as an experiment and I think that there's a lot more in store and that we've got a lot more to see. Um, but I do understand where you're coming from, absolutely. But I would say personally, take a break. Don't leave indefinitely. Just take a break. Thank you very much for your uh, for your words. So uh, to... I, I don't know if I'm... I, probably this is a, like... Uh, a normal drop i mean i really got uh, invested in terms of uh, energy and time and uh, everything into into steam it and uh, many of you uh, know me already for for what i did uh, for the lego mostly for the yes, lego the wars Legos, and, they're uh, the greatest they're yeah so <laughs> and the things like that and uh, i want to share you this uh, little ex this experience that brought me to to have this thought so I never used before voting bots. 
I decided to start trying using voting bots. What happened is that my last two posts that are those one, uh, the, the one where I explain my, my reason uh, to have a break or leave steam it, got more attention in terms of rewards from voting bots than my important one. And I mean, I like did, uh, I tried this like an, as an experiment and seeing that uh, basically the platform is uh, changing into a lending system where the more the more steam uh, dollars you you send the more you grow the faster you grow it's really it's really depressing and uh, B uh, buffy I, I talked to you a little bit today in a, in a chat room in general chat uh, isn't the life like that it's it's really not always fair but for me it's like to give all the good sides of steam it like and just stop and go away from all the good sides and focus on the bit bots or the other bad stuff on steam it there's just for me there's just too many good things like this group other groups these chats where we talk to each other connect to each other that's that's what you should focus on don't focus on bit bots and what they're doing we, we really we can change it just by doing things like we're doing right now talking to each other and as far as i know uh shadow shadow's pub is not here tonight uh there's witnesses that really care about this platform and they're trying to change things so i think you should stick around don't focus on too much on the bit bots yes it's not fair it's it's bad for the platform but focus on us focus on the group focus on the relationship you created you came here i remember you were making five cents on the post i know you're you're not about the money and all the other stuff but you progress so much in these couple of couple of months that i know that you've been here and it's incredible you progress faster than probably anyone i know maybe petra progress faster than you than that that i know here so for me your results are encouraging and you shouldn't you shouldn't give it up that that's my that's my advice to you i'll offer actually um Oh, I she's, am here. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> I got over. <laughs> Sorry, the the uh, the list of people is so large, which is great that I <laughs> did not even see her come in, and that. <laughs> I got over there shadows. and have I got over there, and the meeting was canceled. So I've been here actually wow, a while. I've just been listening. That was a very pleasant surprise. But anyway, I'm sorry. It was. It would have been a boring meeting. Yeah, so I just want to add one thing, Bafi, and I know that um, we'll we'll probably just allow people to go give you all of these explanations on the uh, on the post because I know that that's what you're trying to do is is promote a, a thing. But I just want to want to remind you that um, as far as the rewards go, um, it, it's is it is easy to look at things and say that you know the the posts that are getting the most rewards are from the bid bots but i personally like to think of it as a from a perspective of most of the bidding bots are not going to end up being profitable so it's usually a better idea just to keep your liquid earnings that you, instead of sending them to a bot that's just going to keep doing the same thing use them instead for other people host a contest power up your account delegate to someone but most importantly, if you can develop a community and come to shows like this and share your content, you'll start getting votes from people around here who, who really care. And those are the ones that I look for on my posts that make me really excited every time I, I share something. So that's my perspective. I just wanted to let you know. I don't know if I'll have time to comment that on your post, but I wanted to let you know while you were here. So Yeah. There are, there are some efforts that are can, underway to attempt I... to reach a point where creative quality creative content gets a little more recognition whether we're going to be able to move that forward or not i don't know but hang in there and keep building your yeah, account Dream Steam, go ahead um yeah i was just going to say that um i think what the illusion is is that people are looking at posts that are making a lot of money that are paying for bid bots and they're thinking that that's all profit and it's not because a lot of people who use bid bots are spending a lot of money and so when you look at the end result you know maybe they're making maybe they're making 25 percent or something or i don't know the numbers but it's not full profit and what you're doing Bafi, is sweat equity you are putting your heart and your soul into those posts and everything that you get is genuine appreciation from people who 
love you and follow you and appreciate your work. And so you have 100% profit. So you can't really compare that. Um, and also, there are bid bots that are going to be abused. I mean, there they are. We live in a world where people take advantage. But there are people that are using it for good. And I said this on your on your comment earlier that um, like Calmem and our buddy up, he uses um, bid bots very strategically. He doesn't do it for self-promotion. He will put a post together that features all of the people that, you know, do drop in the ocean. And really that's just giving us more visibility. And so he does it in a way that's kind of like, hey, I'm investing in my community. I'm putting us out there. I'm trying to show what we're doing. And then we get all kind of like free sponsorship and free marketing for that. So there's, and there's a lot, he's not the only one that's doing that. Like Ethan said, there are people that are using it to kind of, you know, promote other things. So look at the big picture and just like everybody's saying here, you are so loved here. But if you need a break, please take a break. You know, everybody needs it every once in a while, but just know that the invitation is always open to come back and come back into a community that loves and supports you and will be here for you. And I'll, uh, let's give Buffy, so, Buffy one more chance. The floor is yours and then we'll move on to the next post. And if you do have further thoughts there is on this, everyone. One yeah, thing, because... Louise, there is one thing before Buffy speaks that I'm, I'm going to okay, bring sure. up. And this, everybody needs to hear this. Dan Larimer, before he left the platform, it was probably several months before he left the platform, uh, wrote a, a very long and interesting post about, we have a tendency to think in the short term when it comes to STEAM. We need to think in the long term because this is a long-term investment. It's not something where you're going to make a bunch of money in the short term, but as STEAM grows, your investment is going to grow, and every little bit you add to it is more investment. That's a great perspective. So thanks for that. Uh, Buffy, go ahead. Okay. So uh, I've got in order the uh, thanks to Dura for your uh, for your recommendation and uh, um, yeah maybe the fact that uh, my grow uh, my growth or my grow rate was really fast this is one of the reasons that maybe I can't really um, see uh, see the bigger perspective or see the from uh, fr from another point of view the situation. And uh, so maybe I will just like uh, take some time off Steam it like one week or two I don't know, and uh, I would uh, like to thank you to dream, to thank uh, both Titan and Dream Steam and to uh, addressing the problem of uh, addressing the problem of bots. I mean, what happened to me? It's not just that. Uh, as uh, you might know, I am uh, involved with uh, DTube for the time lapses videos. And uh, I talk, uh, I've talked to Ethan uh, about this as well. Uh, on the tube, they, I think that the Ned created uh, or something, uh, some uh, really, really big developer of Steam. It created a DTube account with a lot of uh, Steam power in it to uh, to boost uh, profiles of people that uh, post videos on the tube. What's uh, what's happening truly in the two pits that uh, there is a small uh, small group of users, which uh, you might know because they are fairly popular, like uh, Exile or uh, Rabenis or Art Visuals, reseller on Steamit, and so on. There are some accounts that receive a full upvote from DTube each video they post. So. It was, uh, I think that the delegation, which is like in the million of uh, steam power, was needed to bring visibility to the to the contents of the to the platform. But uh, it has uh, become an issue because there is a small group of users that uh, tend to get uh, all the votes. And uh, I even asked uh, to one of them for some help in the, I mean, some help uh, in the process of making time lapses because as you might know, to make a good quality video, you have to take uh, a lot of time, a lot of effort, and you need also a really, really expensive equipment, which uh, as a student, I can't really afford uh, right now. And I got really, really harsh critics about uh, the time lapses video that I already made on uh, DTube. So, Buffy, I hear you because exactly the same happened with me on DTube, and I'll talk to you about that later. Yeah, uh, I got a video reply from Art Visuals, and it was really, really harsh. I mean, uh, 
I'm really positive to critics, but uh, I can't uh, like it was. Uh, he was like pretending that uh, I I should make a professional stuff while I obvious obviously I cannot. So I mean, uh, as much as I'm trying because I'm really trying to. I learned a lot about HTML markdown and a lot of stuff. And as much as I'm trying to make my time lapses look as professional as possible, it's uh, really, really hard to make uh, insane videos uh, with uh, low equipment stuff. But uh, yeah, it's me. I mean, it's. Uh, I think that uh, it's uh, a summary of aspect that lead to lead me to this uh, decision. Well, thank you, Bafi. Um, I, I'll just kind of close this discussion by saying, if you do have further thoughts please go share them with him on this post that has been shared in the chat. Um, a lot of things that have been shared here are great pieces of information to know about DLive, about DTube. There have been a lot of issues going on here, but I do want to say we at the Steam Engine fully 100% support all of your content. It's fantastic. And honestly, uh, you just got to look for the right people to, to give you feedback because for what you're doing, I think you're doing a great job and we really appreciate you as a community member. So thank you for sharing today. And with that, Awaken to Life, uh, who's up next on the list? Well, Buffy, just a last comment, just go get some pizza, eat some pasta and start writing some posts. Don't take any <laughs> breaks, that's it. <laughs> that's all you need to do. Yeah, because I, I showed in the chat. Get that some I... brioche in your stomach, man, then everything is gonna be fine. I showed in the chat the last the Lego Star Wars that arrived, and uh, I think that uh, that's just something. So yes, yes, definitely. All right, all right. Let's let's yeah. move on. We got thank we you got so much, a lot Bobby. more people to present. And so. just real quick, we'll pause for the station identification here. This is Talk of the Line, a weekly voice chat curation segment, brought to you by the Steam Star Radio Network and the Steam Engine Group on Steamit. So that's steamit.com forward slash at the Steam Engine. We are not affiliated with Steam Engine team, just to make that distinction there real quick. But we're here and we're going through some of the great posts that our members have shared this week. And so I'll turn it over to Awaken to Life to introduce our next presenter. Okay, our next presenter is our dear, probably the best voice on radio, Artemis Nort. Crickets. Yeah. Artemis. Oh, there oh. she is. Sorry, guys. Real brain fart. I forgot I was on push to talk. <laughs> That's okay. It's happened to all of us <laughs> at some point. Thanks. So I was in a weird mood Saturday when I wrote out my shout out. I was kind of disappointed that when I had made the challenge the week before, no one really rose to it. So this one is a double dog dare. And I suggest you go in. And if you don't want to give your proceeds from your shout out Saturday to Tark or you are hope, pick something else. One post a week and we can make a really big difference. Well, that's short and sweet and to the point. Thank you so much. So, Crazy BG, why don't you tell us a little bit about sh Shout Out Saturday? Oh, uh, okay, well... Um, not to put you on the spot or anything. <laughs> yeah, I was totally unprepared for that. <laughs> By but the it's way, not like he can't talk, so he can talk for hours. We all know that. So cut him off when he starts rambling too much. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I was just going to say, by the way, I'm just Ethan kidding, this man. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, by the way, Ethan, this week I've also been uh, playing the guitar to people on chat roulette, and I've been back. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I I can't believe I inspired that. <laughs> Yeah, oh they told me never to go back on the platform. Anyway, shout, um, so Shout Out Saturday is, is an incentive that I, uh, is, it was an initiative I created um, a few weeks ago now. <clears throat> and the reason I did it was because um, there's a real lull on the platform on the weekend. So everybody kind of catches up and does what they, they need to do, and then they'll resume normal functionality on Monday. Um, but Shout Out Saturday, and the purpose of Shout Out Saturday, I, I can't make people do this, but this is what I wanted, was for people to engage with people that they had <coughs> on the platform. 
And what what that would do was to inspire people to get to know these people, read their posts, and shout out about them. So um, at the moment, I mean, I'm saying some people do that, other people aren't. They've just got lots of friends, and they're busy like promoting that, and that's fine as well. Um, but this is this is a really good thing that you can do because one, it means that you've always got content on a Saturday, and I always thank Shadow Pub, Shadow's Pub who told me this. And she said, if you go out there and do it this way, so if you meet a new person every day of the week for six days, get to know them and write down a little bit about them each day, you'll have a post and all you should need to do on Saturday is hit publish. So your post should be finished on Friday, put it in on Saturday, hit publish and bang. You've got a post out there, so you've got content and you're shouting out about some amazing people. And that, my friends, is Shout Out Saturday. Thank you so much. So Artemis North has taken part in that and that's the post that she shared with us today. So if you are interested in having a great something to do on the weekends and having some content, check out the Shout Out Saturday hashtag and category and you won't be disappointed so thank you so much for both of you for sharing that and artemis north it's a pleasure as always thank you uh, just to put out uh, out there the link in the in the chat right now is to ethan smith singing when he was 19 years old that should be interesting so guys uh you can write a post about it you know uh, about his uh singing uh, qualities and values a little bit you know he's a great singer i'm sure or not you're gonna decide yeah so last week we had a trip down um memory lane for me as crazy <laughs> bg delved into my youtube history and discovered <laughs> some interesting things including star wars meets romeo and juliet <laughs> And um, so I encourage you to check it out if you've not seen that. If somebody somebody can drop the link if they still have it up, I don't know. I can go find it too. But um, I'm glad that you enjoyed that for those of you who um, who did this. But the one that I have shared just now is a friend of mine and I got on chat roulette one night in our residence hall room and decided to sing improv songs while playing the guitar and the ukulele to people on chat roulette and so their reactions are mixed and very different like there you see a screenshot of someone wearing a horse mask that we encountered so if you're really in the mood for something funny i hope you can enjoy that and feel free to take a, a stroll through the rest of my youtube videos but anyway uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> Anyway, we got we got to yes, move we on. Do. We got twenty minutes, and we got three more people. So right. let's Who's keep on next? moving. You can leave bad reviews on our on his YouTube channel. Hey. Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, thank you for presenting, Artemis North. And the next is uh, Lime Poet. Excellent. I believe she said she's presenting by text. Is that correct? I'm gonna step in for her. Actually, Petra okay, is presenting great, for great. her. Uh, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna read what she sent me. So, quote: My post is about my forthcoming book, a new poetry collection, which will be out this week on May 4th. This is the third volume from my poem series. The book has about 100 poems, taking you on a journey through life and love, exploring the struggle of a human heart. The post actually follows a series of teasers and reveals the title and the book cover. It tells you the story of the cover, which is a photo of one of my acrylic paintings that I turned into a book cover. Let me know what you, what you are thought, what are your thoughts, sorry, on the title and cover. Thank you to you all. There you go. First, I want to thank you, Lime Poet, for letting her present again. I love hearing her voice. Amazing. Yeah, thank you are such a crawler. Thank you so much, Lime Poet, for sharing that with us today. And I encourage you to go check out those posts. And um, thank you, Petra, for stepping in for her. All right, so there it is in all of its glory, by the way. The Star Wars meets Romeo and Juliet link if you haven't seen it. So who's up next, Awaken to Life? 
Well, the next presenter is Clinic. I just want to also pause before that and just say this is the record number of people we've ever had for one of these sessions. We're at over 25 people in the session now, which is the most we've ever had. So hats off to everybody, and thank you so much for being here. And Clinic, we'd love to hear from you. Hi, guys. Hi there, my friend. <laughs> okay, uh, so this is not one of my musical posts. Uh, this one is one of my poetical posts. Uh, it's a poetry that actually means something to me. Now, I'm not, I'm not getting married anytime soon, okay? But I recently started, uh, I recently realized that uh, I kind of have um, some interesting feelings for someone and I'm not really one to just put it all up in her face so I, I wrote this for her and I sent it to her and she kept replying with plenty images of speechless and plenty love signs and blah 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 blah, blah. she has no words so I was, this is my big proposal and uh, We lost you there, clinic. I think all the ladies in here are lost for words. I don't know why. Really? Oh no! I don't know. No, no, no. Girls are talking. It's just me and Ethan in here. Where are all the ladies? Come on, read it already and tell me something. Because I sent it to her and she basically just ran out of words. I can show you the chat. She just kept on saying she's speechless and she doesn't have the words to say anything to me she replied with plenty love sign emojis and i keep telling her okay find the words say something at least tell her that i'm not walking alone down here uh, she hasn't replied all, all up on, until now and it's almost midnight here so i'm gonna have to sleep with this one on my mind yeah well we really appreciate you sharing I mean, tonight clinic i know it's late there but we appreciate it yeah, I mean, I write a lot of poetry, but this one really, really, really got a huge chunk of my heart inside it. So, uh, well, we, I mean, I could have just, <laughs> I yeah? was just going to say that we hope that everyone will take the time to go over there and read it and let you know what they think. And I personally will check that out later as well. So, um, but hey, I, I'm, I, um, I, I applaud your willingness to share that with everyone in the platform. I think it's great to kind of get that out there. So, okay, Well, Drift Team is saying uh, she didn't respond. Not that she didn't respond actually, okay? Um, she read it. She replied with plenty love sign emojis. And she keeps saying she's speechless. So she hasn't really said anything yet. Yeah, so we are still at that line. I haven't crossed it yet. So she responded with like 20 heart emojis? Not even heart. You know, you know this love sign? Uh, the one I used for Petra a few moments ago. Oh, okay. Uh, this, this one. This one. The heart, the heart and the eye. Oh, that one. Okay. She replied my DM with like a whole lot of it and said she was speechless. And she's offline. Maybe she ran away. <laughs> well, uh, let's, well, hope that, let's hope it's better. Hold on. Well, did you, did you send her a message after that, like dinner tomorrow, drink, coffee? Or okay, finish? okay. Well, well, she traveled to uh, another state that's like six to eight hours away from me, okay? Uh, I, I wrote the poem like two days ago. I told her about it, but I couldn't bring myself to send it to her yet. Somehow today I must have had some courage and I was like, yeah. Okay, so here it is. And she read it and filled my DM with a whole lot of those hot eyes and says she's speechless. So she's like eight hours away from me and I'll be seeing her in maybe two weeks or so. Well, uh, well I, I think... If I'm just gonna ask the question to our group members, how many of you guys think you should just buy a ticket and go after? Her? Drop a heart emoji in the in the chat if you think you should do it. Yes, because we we promote things like that here that 
mostly people do in movies but hey it's romantic look at oh that. my god it's hearts small. are just popping out <laughs> i think you i think you, oh I think you get your answer my friend <laughs> oh my and, and one cucumber <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh gosh. Okay, you know what? I'm going to copy this chat and I think I'll share it with her. Oh my goodness. You, guys you are should. Me cry. You should. And we have a couple of no's. <laughs> you, guys as well. me, you guys are making me cry tonight. Oh my goodness. Okay, Tessa Gabriella. So we're we, getting some, also, we, hold on, we're getting some critical feedback here. So we've got a couple of uh, don't do it. So. We actually exactly. do. Okay, Drew still says I should let her have some time. Okay, I, I have that. a. I, I have, um, okay, so here's what we know. <laughs> she hasn't said yes, and she hasn't said no. So she's definitely just thinking about it. What you wrote is absolutely beautiful, and it's your heart just out there for her. And she's your girlfriend, so she's obviously been with you. No, so, no, But it might be overwhelming. Sometimes when she's not your girlfriend? No, she isn't. She's, you know, you okay, know no, 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 no. We will not go after her with this then. <laughs> Yeah, no, I second that time. one. It's that's creepy. Time. That's like a creepy stalker thing. Don't be a creepy stalker. Don't if she if you're no, not no, no. in a relationship, that's, that's too much. Too much. Okay, okay. basically, maybe I maybe thought she I was your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, get out of this guy. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you, you know when you have that friend who, um, you guys just haven't put a title on it. You just know that there's just this. Um, chemistry between the both of you, but you haven't really put a cap or a title on it yet, okay? So this is more like me trying to make things a teeny weeny bit official, okay? Um, we obviously <laughs> both know that we are special to each other, um, we do things for each other, but we haven't really said this is what we want to do yet, okay? But, I mean, how long are you going to keep uh, taking the lady for a stroll, okay? So I decided to say, okay, fine. If we are already doing this, how about we just make it official? So I, I hope you understand. Know, she's not a random stranger who I'm just writing my whole life out for like that. Okay, I, I've known her for a while. Okay. All right. So, and so this is me. well, the, if the that awesome chemistry comment, was the, mutual. The, it would have been answered by now, Clinique. She's trying to figure out how to gently inform you that no, it's not mutual. So leave it alone. <laughs> I think you should go with Calamam. I think you should go with Calamam's suggestion. Hire a plane with a sign. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, in the interest of the show, sorry. I it's been great so far. Thank you. This has been fun. And and um, if you have any more advice for Clinic and what he should do, please feel free to PM him. But we have about ten minutes left. So awaken to life. How many more people? How many more people are? Um, are left on the list. We have we have only we have only crazy. Uh, he wants to present again because he loves to speak so much, and uh, that's because of Petra. Uh, she has bad influence. And Petra, on, Petra I'm also wanted to get in there again. And uh, <laughs> oh, Petra, Petra wants to present. We can do no, it very quickly no. if we do it. So and also okay, so, crazy, crazy, go. I wanted to r just clarify real quick. I don't know how to pronounce his username, God's N G H one. Since you are not actually a, a passenger and have been promoted as a member of the group, we can't allow you to present in this segment, but you're more than welcome to fill out an application. And we thank you so much for being here to listen. Um, but hopefully if you fill out an application and you get approved, you can participate next week. So now back to the regularly scheduled programming once more. Here we go into the last segment of Talk of the Line, broadcast live on the Steam Star Radio Network. I'm Ethan D. Smith, and I'm here with Awaken to Life, and I believe Crazy BG. Let's hear from you again. Okay, <laughs> go crazy. Okay. Um, Literally go crazy, like you yeah. go, present. Okay, so I'm promoting for somebody else. This is for Magical Moonlight. And Magical Moonlight has said... Um, this is my post of Beyond for Beyond the Veil newsletter. It is based around intelligent civilizations beyond those here on Earth. This is the first of many, and this post discusses a theory on the Egyptians having superior knowledge, helping them to build the pyramids. I end this post talking a little bit about the government's projects that deal with unidentified flying objects. 
I actually seen this post in our uh, promo, uh, in our baggage promotion channel. I don't even know how many, how we call it now. Uh, it's I I, lo I love this subject, so I'm definitely going to check this post out. Yes, yeah, so that's really interesting. I personally have not checked this out yet, so I'll definitely do it. But this beyond the veil thing is just going to be really, really interesting for the group. So you just got to stay tuned. Once again, we'll just plug that. So Beyond the Veil is a newsletter that's going to go out starting tomorrow, I believe. That's It's a joint project uh, that Crazy BG Adventure kind of headed up that has to do with all things related to paranormal activity, UFOs, and even looking at them from a spiritual and a scientific perspective. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, you got some great content creators that are about to hit you with all kinds of great stuff. So thank you so much for sharing that with us, Crazy. Okay, Petra, uh, you are next for us. Let's hear that voice again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So speaking about Beyond the Veil, uh, I wasn't uh, planning on promoting this post, but since uh, Tessara Gabriel mentioned Beltane, here you go. Happy Beltane to all. If you didn't know already, Beltane is a major pagan holiday that is today. And it's one of those holidays that actually celebrates sexual energy and sex and joining all of all the energies in the universe. So blessed be everyone, read the post and learn everything about it and have a great, great day. There, was I quick enough? That was quick enough. Yeah, thank you. I had never heard of that before today, so call me sheltered or something, but I will have to read all about that. So <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Okay, awesome. We, uh, Ethan, uh, I believe we're cutting it close, right? What, eight minutes or something yeah, like this? Yeah, well, um, uh, so it, it's actually funny. So I, I told you that we might have to stop at 5.30 because... My wife was coming home, but now she's sitting in the room listening and has been having a blast enjoying what you guys have to say. So <laughs> anyway, mostly the clinic thing. But anyway, um, what I, think was I amazing. wanted to I gotta say that. Uh, um, I want to Ethan, I, I have to Sorry, Buffy, go ahead. Sorry, Ethan. I have I have to drop in to just say that I hope your wives did, uh, didn't watch your YouTube channel. No, she, she was fully aware of all of the things that I have on YouTube before we got married, so she knew what she was getting into. Okay, oh, so, okay. So that, that's perfect. Th that's then. true love, that's true love. Good, 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 uh, good thing for you. And she married him anyways. <laughs> yes, she did. And, of course, there are a lot of things that you could end with the statement, but she married me anyways, and I'm very thankful for all of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that we should really focus on the anyway part. Hey, uh, Ethan, I'm sorry. Uh, is uh, Redhead Pay here because he still hasn't presented? Well, I don't she, know what happened to him. She said that she could never get uh, to figure said, out how to get sorry. into the voice channel, even though we tried to help her. So I'm not sure what happened there. Okay. I, I mean, we if she can get in here in one minute and present real quick, it would be awesome because <laughs> she's the only one we're missing. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a miracle worker a week, and there's no way I'm going to be able to do that in yeah, a minute. Yeah, we need we need the kitty we need the kitty oh. girl here. She's usually good about these things, but oh well. I, I'll DM her for for next All right, week. Thank you, thank not you so problem. much. All right, well, what I want to do in the last few minutes, um, one of the things that I've continued to do on on Steam it and as part of the Steam Engine is my podcast series, the Steam Engine Express. And I just wanted to announce that that podcast is now indexed and available wherever you listen to your podcasts. So I did a, a uh, blog post on that earlier uh, last week. So let me go grab the link for that and I'll share it in case any of you want to catch up with that. And also, if you're not aware, the entirety of these sessions are recorded and I usually post them as blog posts as well, either the day or two afterward. So you can go relive all of the great things that have happened in today's session. And I must say, this has probably been my favorite session so far since we've been doing this. So thanks, thank you to everyone who's shown up today because it's really been a pleasure to, to ride along here and, and read all of the things in the chat. So I'll, I'll leave you with that one last link. And also the optimism that Awaken to Life is 
home for the off season and should have time to start blogging again so we can look forward to more things about burning chickpeas and making vegan burgers. Well, I'm going to sure get back to it. Hopefully there won't be much burning. Sorry, so I couldn't resist. Hopefully there'll be more <laughs> successful stories like vegan burgers. So I hope so. But it happens with cooking when you experiment, and so sometimes you burn stuff. You fall asleep, and you almost burn your apartment in it, in Italy. So everything's possible with me. It does happen. So as a, as always, at the end of the broadcast, I like to um, just say thank you to Sir Cork and his witness effort, and the Steam Star Radio Network, and also the You Are Hope blockchain charity. And we have a lot of members that cross over with a lot of different groups. And um, it just makes me happy every week that we can bring people together from all different communities in this segment and listen to what they have to say. So thank you, Shadows Pub, for coming. So glad your meeting got canceled. Uh, Hope Hugs. Yeah, me too. (laughs) Hope Hugs, Dream Steam, Crazy, Calamam, even though your mic's broken. Maybe you can get that fixed next week. Bafi, thank you so much for being here today. It's really great to have you in here, and we hope that everybody will go leave their thoughts on your latest post. Artemis North. Andy Santix, all of you that shared today, thank you so much again. This has been Talk of the Line and Awaken to Life. Any last words? Well, I think this was an amazing show, uh, even if Petra wasn't a co-host, which was pretty amazing, I think. I'm just kidding. I love Petra. Uh, Actually, I think this was a record today. I think, how many people? 25, 26 at one moment. Uh, 14 people presented. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with that. I think our group is going the right way. I think we're creating some real uh, relationships and some friendships, connections. That's what our group main goal really is. And I think we're moving along very nicely. So I'm really happy with it. I want to thank everybody who participated, present their posts. I hope uh, we were good close to you and that you had some fun as well. well I, I agree with all of those things. And once again, it is an absolute pleasure to meet with all of you here at this time every week and hear what you've been up to. It's something I make time for every week, even though I am very busy. And I hope that that's the same and becomes kind of a fixture of our week here. And it's great to see this grow. And so just to sign off once again, my name is Ethan D. Smith. I'm here with Awaken to Life, my co-host. And this is Talk of the Line, a weekly curation segment broadcast live on the Steam Star Radio Network. And it is a service of the Steam Engine, Discord, and Steamit community. We are here to support our members. If you are not a member and you're listening to this, you can find everything you need to know about the group and how to apply over at the Waiting Room Start Here channel in our Discord server. So head on over there and fill out an application if you haven't so far. Just want to say thanks once again to Awaken to Life for co-hosting. And I think that's it. That's all we have this week. And so until next week, thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. So like we're waiting for the continuity of your romantic story. So in two yes, weeks, we when she comes to... back, we want some updates. <laughs> oh, oh, definitely, definitely. Clinique, Do- you do realize you've got like a bunch of love counselors here now who are going to help you through with this, don't you? And I, I think yeah. I will, uh, I'll, I'll leave that in. But let me, let me stop the stream real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're clear. You can talk about whatever you want now. <laughs> Oops. Actually, we forgot okay, to say okay, uh, on Thursdays. On Thursdays, don't forget to participate in the Shadows Pubs, uh, Pimp Your yes, Post absolutely. Thursday as well. It's an amazing show. Uh, it's our show is inspired, actually, by our show, and I'm sure you're gonna have a great time there as well. So be make sure you participate. Thank you. And since she didn't pump, pimp it herself, let's not forget about Artemis's creative. Uh, creatives coffee chat on Monday at one in the round. Crazy BG's crazy about steam. Yeah, which is definitely on this Monday. Sorry about last Monday, guys. And also drop in the ocean by Calamam. There's so many voice segments that we can participate in now. And I'm also co-hosting with Rhonda K at uh, the right answers, which follows crazy show at uh, two. Yes, indeed. Yeah, Rondax gonna hate me because she had to turn the bot off and then on again. I'm no, really actually, it bot. went it went really smooth for her uh, yesterday. Oh, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm causing a gremlins.
Yeah, really? No, no, no. She got her opening in. She got the sound was good. We finally got those that stuff worked out. It took Ron Don to the rescue. All right, folks. Well, I'm going to head off for the evening. Thank you all again for being here. I will do my best to have the uh, the recording up very soon. So with that said, thanks all. Dreamstein, you cracked me up tonight. You really did. I was crying, laughing. <laughs> I didn't know that I was that like... <laughs> Well, I just story. thought it was his girlfriend, and then it was, it was like, wait a minute, it's that? not your girlfriend? <laughs> you know that? Oh, my God. <laughs> See, when I read it and when I heard it, I initially thought it wasn't his girlfriend, and so everyone was like, do it, and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> well, Young even man. if it was his girlfriend, I think, you know, time, patience is a good thing. I think clinic you have shared your heart and you're so brave and that's so great because you okay. will never regret uh, you know what you haven't said but um time 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 <laughs> save that money for the airplane man when she comes back in two weeks have that plane flying all over the city man <laughs> okay here's the thing okay um four years ago okay um i had a lady in my life who basically get there okay but we weren't dating. I mean, everybody around my life, when they, they, they kept asking me, uh, I know going to marry her. I guess I'm going to take her to the next level. But we kept saying, nah, it's not time, this blah, 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 blah. And I never, ever go to tell her exactly how I felt, okay? And uh, later, I got a message from her that she got a job in another state and she was going it dawned on me that hey you had over five years with this lady and you guys never did anything about it okay and i just wanted to put it out there now i am not a stalker anyone that knows me just know that i am i am this kind of person okay so i just wanted to put it out there that hey at least she knows how i feel my poems. She's like my biggest fan. Club post. She... Well, two weeks we're gonna get some updates, guys. So make sure you check in on next in two weeks, right? In two weeks, I just Tuesday. Want to clarify. I wasn't calling you a stalker. <laughs> I just want to clarify that. I really, I didn't. I wasn't calling you a stalker. I was just saying that it's, it's. People think it's very romantic and they do it in movies to just like drop everything and like fly over or whatever. Uh, but it actually can come off really creepy to the person. Like it, it, it's less romantic in real life. Well, I guess it depends on the person, right? If you're sure that person likes you and she's going to take it well, I don't know. Then it could be a different story, right? It could be a movie ending. In the clinic, I don't know the emoji stuff is uh, is a real sign to do something like that. So take your time, man. See what's what kind of moves she makes after this and decide, you yeah, make your decisions after that and get that plane and just drop out of it and just throw the roses all over the sky and write with a spray or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, I personally appreciate kidding, all actually. of everything that everybody has said about this. It's been very entertaining, but I think it's also been good to get some perspective from, and I, I that's why I like having such a wide range of people in the audience here. So it's great. And with that, well, I think I think Adam Snor made a great comment. If you go do this, it's either crazy love or a jail cell. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's about right. <laughs> that was awesome. Bravo. All right. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go now. So thank you guys so much. And Clinic, we'll look forward to Well, he just dropped out of voice. So anyway. All right, Ethan. All right, Ethan break a leg, right, man. We'll see you guys later. He got scared about the jails.